Hey there, the Holder Fire Familia, and welcome to another reaction. This time, I'm going to be reacting to the Dragon Prince Season Four, Episode One, Rebirthday. So, when we left off last season, uh, Viren woke up after being dead for two days, and Claudia having brought him back, which I'm guessing we're going to come to find out. I would hope at least we find out what she had to do to bring him back, because that's a uh, pretty major. That it's at least the first time I've seen. I, uh, Right? It's the first time a character's been brought back to life with dark magic, or actually anyone's been brought back to life with any magic in this series. So, we, I talked about this in the previous episode. Um, but, it had to be something major, because you have, um, like, the baby deer that Claudia had to suck the magic out of just to fix Soren's back. So bringing back to someone to bring someone back to life, I feel like would be even more serious and require more extreme uh magic and I don't know what I actually don't know what she Yeah. I, I, I'm really curious on what she had to have done. Um plus you know, I'm curious to see what Erevos is turning into. Is he evolving into a butterfree? I yeah, but anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> hey, bite. Is it just me, or is the paper background like more yellow this season? I don't know. It, it seems it seems different to me. What? What? What's going on? Good to see you awake, sir. It's been eighty-four years. That realization, he realizes he that she had to have uh, used dark magic to bring him back to life. So he's probably realized or thinking to himself, what did she have to do to do that? But you're okay. Especially considering how much her, her hair is white now. She went from just a, like a strand or a lock of it to the, her half of her entire head. It's I'm telling you, it's turning into Erevos. I'm telling you, it's like it was gathering magic or sucking up magic to then become, like, for it to evolve into Erevos. I, I don't know. Because those horns are looking kind of similar to Erevos's. I've been dead for two whole days. It's like, do I smell? <laughs> Over two years have passed. Oh. Okay, so it's been two. It's been two days. Two, two years. All right, so he's been dead for two days. Or no, not dead for two days. Wait, so yeah, he would smell ill. How long was she trying to bring him back to life? Like, was she preserving him or something? Like, how how do you keep a body from rotting for two years? But that's right. So two days was for Erebus to turn uh, Erebus caterpillar friend to turn into or cocoon itself so he's been for so viren's been dead for two years okay oh oh new new map we're looking at the airbus is opening up so this is like a celestial celestial map i see a dragon i see i think a sun elf not sure what that is on in the middle um try to see what i recognize See, something that looks like almost like a bee scorpion? A scorby? Uh, I think I see a water dragon. It looks like something playing a fiddle or a guitar. A tree with a book, or sprouting from a book. So maybe knowledge? Something like that? A unicorn. Uh, I think that's a... Uh, is that like a young elf on the left side one? Because that's why I and then you got the crown in the middle. That'd be Erebos's crown? No. No. Right? Erebos wouldn't be like a king or something like that. Hmm. I also noticed the different element. Uh, oh my god. Primordi uh, primordial stones? Prim primordial stones. You got the dark purple, which is that dark magic? And you have wind. Mountains? Sky. Or no, not sky. Uh, was it sky? Lightning? I'm trying to remember the elements for this series. Uh, wind? 
or is it Storm? Gosh, I know it's like because I see there's like one that looks like Wind, but then there's one that looks like the one that Callum uses, which I think is uh, you know, when he does the Wind stuff. So I think that's Wind on its own. You also have yeah, Fire. So you have you have Fire, Water, Dark Magic. I think, or maybe that's Star Magic. I don't know. Um, Mountain or Earth Magic. Then you have I think Storm and then Wind. Like a new intro so far. Ooh. Galaxy X phone? I'm sorry. Anytime I see like this kind of like galaxy stuff, I think of like the phone. Oh. Oh. A pawn in Erebus's game? Yeah. That is probably the most. That. Wait. That is probably the most. Kind. Like, almost like. Gentle, soft smile we've seen from Eros. It's not like an evil one. It's almost like he—he he almost looks like nice here. If this isn't like what he was holding and stuff, but he seems almost nice here. Like this is the kindest like smile I've seen from Eros so far. He's always just seems to be scheming or having an evil smile or something like that. So this, huh? But interesting that it's Viren reaching out and then he's like got it here. It reminds me of uh. Zim's dad, how Zim's dad was reaching, or Thunder was reaching out to his mate in Zim, uh, and then that tear kids gave. So I wonder if that's like a parallel to that. And I wonder if it's, what if it's Viren losing one of his children, like Claudia or something? Kind of like how Thunder lost his mate and child. Nice new intro, pretty. The mid, oh, so. Dragon Prince Mystery of Erebos. Okay. So we're delving. This season, I'm guessing, is about Erebos. I'm not complaining. I'm curious about the star touch elf. Earth. Okay, so I was right. So it is Earth. Yes, what's happened? Well, Callum? Or is that Ezrin? What secrets are you hiding? Callum. Looking spiffy. Really? Hi, Mage Callum. The King's Council is assembling in the throne room. Hi, Mage no. Callum. <laughs> Call me my normal name, Prince Callum. I would be like Callum. Or, you know, just, 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 just regular Cal. Just Cal or I Cal. You don't have to actually say regular. <laughs> I think he gets it, Callum. King's Council. Council meeting, right? On my way. <laughs> uh. Yes. How is everyone doing in these two years? Has peace been brought to the land? You know, who needs an umbrella when you can make an umbrella out of wind? Everyone else, I would be like, be nice. Imagine if we could just put like one for the whole area. But I actually like rain. I would like play in it. So for me, I wouldn't mind some rain on me. Oh, hello. Wait, Soren and the tracker? Morning, Soren. Corvus? Corvus. There he is, the step mage. Soren went... Okay, I'm not going to lie. I kind of like Soren's hairstyle from before. Now he looks much more like dude. <laughs> and I don't know how to feel about that. I Still funny. Hey, what if I called you? Don't. Don't. Oh, I'm speaking with the Associate Crow Lord. Associate Crow Lord? Okay. So dusty and crusty and full of rare elven runes. Dusty and crusty. Oh, what is the Tome of Translation? I need it to translate some super weird runes. Oh, the runes on the mirror? Lord, I don't get involved with things on- I swear, if that thing falls over, and he's like- <laughs> On an individual package level, but for you- I see it I'll moving. Keep an eye out. Sure, Prince Callum doesn't know that- Doesn't know. Mmm. You walk into a room and everyone suddenly- There, I- The tart- The chef is there too, I swear. It was- I love that the chef was there in the bat final battle kind of thing, but like he's here too with like the council stuff. Wait, so he's. I'm guessing that was in the request of Ezrin. <laughs> you're, you're way off, buddy. <laughs> well, sorry. Glad to see that Soren is still able to keep secrets. Okay ish. We are still waiting on your brother, the king. Yeah, I want to see what Ezrin looks like now. Because I'm going to guess Ezrin's more like what Callum's height was. Two years ago, so. Oh, hey, Ezrin. He. 
He has Harrow's bun, man bun. <laughs> you look good though. Look more like a prince. Not really a king, but more like a prince. Welcome, King Ezrin. It looks like we can start. How deep is his voice going to be? I'm kind of like curious because, you know, he was like, what? Like 10, 11, two, two years ago. So he'd be like in his teens now. So I wonder if his voice would be any deeper. Start this council meeting. Opelli, wait. We're he still sounds the exact same almost. Not all here. Bait. Of course. Of course, Bait would come in like after. Bait, do you have your own seat too? I swear, if your seat. Uh, oh. Of course, this he has a high chair. He has a high chair! <laughs> of course, he does. That's that's adorable. We begin. Bait? <laughs> oh, Sunfire? No, that's not the Sunfire Elf place, right? Really? No, I don't think really we're riding a horse. Oh no, so it is a Maya... Janai? Oh, your hair sounds different. What are we doing here, Janai? I... Okay, so it is Janai. I was worried I got her name wrong. Understood. I promise you, Amaya, you will understand soon. I wonder. They they zoomed in on her mouth. So is it to show that Maya is lip reading, or is it to show that? Janai purposely like enunciates her words to make it easier for Amaya to understand. I'm not sure. Maya's like my senses are tingling. Our first order of business. Is I thought that was Rayla for a moment because you know her having Rayla's voice actress. I thought I was like, wait, are we gonna see Rayla? And then of course it's just like she could be the last one we're gonna see. Are you serious? They save her for last. Is welcoming our new council member to his first day. Oh my god, this Welcome is his first Barius day. Barius the Baker. Barius the Baker. To the official titles I suggested? Hmm, while I did... Okay, wait. Ezrin's voice does sound like... It does sound the same, but it does sound a little bit deeper. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe it's the way he speaks. It sounds more mature than before. I don't know how to explain it. Appreciate. As I just see Tarts getting sucked up by bait. <laughs> oh. Man, you guys really love your Tarts, don't you? Topic. The king said they just make me want to try them even more. As it is big news. Big news. I've now I'm excited, and I already know what's happening. Okay, I really, I'm so confused here. I almost feel like this is a new voice actor completely for Ezrin because it sounds lighter somehow than before. They didn't get a new voice actor, did they? Because he doesn't sound, he sounds the same, but also a lot lighter, which is weird. Okay, you know what? I need to look this up. I really need, I need to look this up because it, that's gonna... Sasha Rohan... Rohan or Rojan is the voice of Ezrin for both seas? Uh, nah, hey, there's no way. Sasha Rojan has been the same voice actor for him, but how does he sound? You would think his voice would, like, mature some? I'm guessing because 20, okay, 2018 is when the Dragon Prince started. When did season four come out? Darker Prince season four. So season four started in 2022. So in 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20 four years. Yeah, he should, his voice, I mean, maybe his voice did change, but that's really odd that a boy's voice would go lighter and not deeper. Right? Yeah, all over 2020. Interesting. And it's actually, it is, a ch it is a child voicing him. Usually they always get like girls to voice young boys because then they don't, they can, they can make their voice kind of deeper, but if they grow up a bit, few years, but they can keep that, like, they don't have to worry about the boy, the voice actor, like, you know, hitting puberty or anything like that. So it's interesting that they've, and he hasn't, 
It's, again, his voice has gotten like uh, that. Oh, okay, that threw me off. The dragon queen is coming to Catalis, and she's bringing Zim. Huh? Dragon queen is bringing Zim. Bigger Zim? Bigger Zim? Maybe with Rayla too? Um, think this through. The dragon. Oh yeah, that's right. So Ezrin's like all excited, like, oh, dragon queen and Zim are coming by. And it's like I don't know if the entire kingdom's all for dragons yet, considering. Queen and Catalis, won't people be scared? Terrified? To change how they see dragons. And Hopefully. That's sort of the point. And besides, she only eats three people a day. It's a small price to pay for peace. <laughs> Wait, so their diet consists of eating people? I thought they would eat- I don't know. Like, what is Zim being- what have they been- what were they feeding Zim during that whole trip? Like, huh? And Callum, you're not helping. <laughs> Sorry, not funny. Bad joke. Well. Wow. Okay, he was joking. I was about to say, oh my god, is that if he's serious. <laughs> hey, after Callum's gone, should we talk about, uh... You realize when you're talking like that, you should... Also, what frame did I pause on? These two look so... They're not gonna be a thing, are they? <laughs> I'm sorry. Just the way, like, you got Corvus looking at Sword and Sword just like... I don't know. Those two look like they, they match. <laughs> Oddly enough, like, and plus Corvus is much more of a serious person, but not super serious. Like, uh... Oh my god, what is his name? Case if it was? Is? I don't know if he's still alive. Um, so it's kind of like... I can see them, I can see them, you know, personality wise, personality wise going well together. Um, but anyway, sorry, the purpose of like, whis you're supposed to either whisper about the person that you're talking about or wait till they leave the room before you talk about them. Ooh, dance craze, the, the one that's sweeping what? the castle. <laughs> Just don't twerk, please. Ooh, oh, oh, all the kids are doing it. <laughs> oh my God, you did the floss. No. Okay, you know what? I'll take that over twerking, but. What? You know this was during the Fortnite era. <laughs> He's flossing. All the hip kids are doing it. You know, I'm not seeing enough movement. I know what's funny. Even though this is said during this kind of time period that feels very like medieval, like for some reason that like matches. That works. <laughs> because it's Soren. Soren like does weird stuff. I almost can't believe it's been over two years. Years. I have a lot to catch up. I don't up think on. he can either. Oh. You've got to get used to being alive again. Oh, <laughs> You've got to get used to being alive again. That's such a weird thing to hear. Like if I heard that, I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be so scared. Oh. oh, thank you, Claudia. Wow, he thanked Three me. Years ago, it was more bent and broken than this crown. I don't want to imagine like what that looked like. Mysterious deep voice spoke to me. Oh no. And Viren even told Erevos to stay away from Claudia. Erevos. Hmm. Oh thank goodness I haven't been saying his name correctly. I was so worried I was calling him Erevos and stuff. It was like Erevos is like, okay. Cocoon around you to preserve your body. Oh, uh, okay, so that's the explanation. Thank you. Thank you for explaining that show. Not just leaving it off like, oh, you know, it's just Thanks. Strange and rare thing I would need to save you. Oh god, what were these strange and rare things? Like, uh, like, freaking killing thunder was a unicorn horn. What would it take to bring someone back? <laughs> like, what? I'm, I'm sorry. Also, this is, I think, the most, like, soft, regretful sounding I've ever heard Viren so far. Like, it's nice to see. I want to know what Claudia did. Who's watching you? Wouldn't be Rayla, would it? I know Rayla knows them, so it wouldn't be her. Oh, well, spook the horses. Hello? You look like Sunfire Elves, but at the same time... Floral elves? Oh wait, could it be earth elves? Hmm. Cause that's new. Yeah, no, you're not sunfire elves. 
pretty. You guys doing like a oh? Imagine the, they're just doing a dance, and she's taking as like a combat, like fighting <laughs> or whatever. And then they're just like, wait, 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 we're just trying to dance. Okay, yeah, they're definitely not trying to fight. They're just literally, they were just, I think, welcoming her. I don't know. Maya, wait. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> Maya, wait. I don't think they were trying to. Good thing they cut his head off. That's why Janai was like, don't worry about it because they weren't threats. You know, at that point, if she, if Amaya says she senses someone watching them, might want to clue her in that the the ones most likely watching her are not a threat, so don't worry about it. So she doesn't almost behead one. Oh, they're decorating flowers. Soren, you seriously are still doing that? You're gonna tell me. Oh, it's commanding in Kyle I I can get used to that. Just don't worry about it. It's crown guard stuff, you know. You uh huh. Maybe. Kind of. But it's like a birthday surprise. Okay, the title of this episode is Rebirthday. So what if it's because Ezrin like missed the birthday or something that they're re celebrating it? It's a yeah. birthday surprise. Uh, Callum, wait. Okay. Soren's like so intent on finishing his counting that he completely forgets that now Callum thinks something is going on and is storming off to go confront Ezrin probably or whatever. These are dancers. Sorry. Then go on, show her. She's just like, I don't know if I want to. Last time I did this, I ended up knocked out on unconscious. <laughs> I like the music. <laughs> Wait, is she blushing? Wait, is she blushing? No, okay, it's just her usual red tinge in her cheeks. But I just love how she's like, <laughs> like whoops. This is a traditional sunfire. <laughs> Shaking them. <laughs> of ceremony. <laughs> What kind of ceremony? Is she proposing? No way, right? Oh! Will you... Is she trying to say marry her? Bound? Intertwined? Ah, oh, that's How cute. Do do? You asked her to wrestle with you. Close enough. I mean, they'll be wrestling in bed. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was amazing. Still sweet though. It's a thought that counts. <laughs> Is she gonna apologize? Yeah. She's just protective. <laughs> or not protective, because she wasn't protecting anyone. But she's uh cautious. <laughs> I'm alive. Where has his spirit been for like two years as well? Like, is there anything about that? I wonder if is dark magic corruption gone from him too, mostly because of him being dead. For now. For now. What? What? What do you mean? Oh, this cash. Now. There is a way to make it permanent. Ervos can do it. Uh... In thirty days. Yes. TikTok. There is one weird hope. I see the mortal mortar and pestle in the spell book off in the corner. The being that emerges from the chrysalis will guide you to one who has answers. I'm glad to see Claudia is still herself for the most part. Being? Be. Uh. Wait up, step mage. L let's talk. Step mage. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the rush? It is so a surprise birthday party. Wait, is it a surprise birthday party for Callum, actually? Because then that's why they're trying to keep a secret. Y'all are doing horrible. Everything? Let's go to the High Mage's office, which is uh, my office. Uh huh. Yeah. A mirror with ancient runes on it. I'm convinced. <laughs> These two. Since there's a deeper secret here, if I can just figure out what it is. <laughs> or mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Very interesting. Mm hmm. My Aunt Amaya has made- Frickin' Corvus's look when he's like, Soren, where are you going? Oh, there's the cube. Uh, super. Are you trying to stall me? A stall? No! Crowmaster? Or- King's tower went dark. Ezrin, I'm coming! 
It's a surprise birthday party. Oh, you're wielding a storm? Yep, that's what I thought. Lisa what didn't zap anyone. Birthday, big brother. I can't believe. God, his voice sounds so different. It's so weird. I don't. I. I, I don't know. That'll take me some getting used to. Even though it's like, I guess the same voice actor. I just. It sounds so like like him, but so different at the same time. With wishes and kisses and love. That's cute. Surprise! Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Or else I will die. Mm -hmm. well, That's the gist of it. It's just to make sure you don't think it's a 31 day month because <laughs> we don't get the extra day. <sighs> it's hard to imagine things getting any worse. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot. I want you to meet my new boyfriend. Huh? Terry! <laughs> yes, um, hello. The what are we this? Huh? Kai has a boyfriend and it's an elf? An earth elf, I'm guessing? Because he's. His. His, uh. Uh, da, da, I'm blanking. Horns look like wood, but then they're tipped with like green glow, and his hair is green. Is that, that's gotta be an Earth Elf, right? Wah, wah, huh? I'm and he's so he's so nerdy looking, geeky looking. I mean, it's honestly kind of a way perfect for Claudia, but at the same time, an elf. Huh? What? 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 Well, Viren's gonna have. When did this happen? When Viren is so like anti like. Elves and stuff, and I thought Claudia was too. So, uh, uh like she said, oh, what's your accent? Short for terrestrious, <laughs> very traditional Earthblood elf name. It, what's his accent? I kind of love it. Is it? Uh, it's not Aussie, is it? Earthblood. Elf name. Bit old-fashioned, you know, but. Oh my God, is he Aussie? Very traditional Earthblood elf name. Earthblood elf ne name. May I call you Viren? Or Dad? <laughs> oh God, Viren's face! <laughs> Claudia, you might just lose your boyfriend right now. <laughs> Lord, uh, sir. I'm gonna be about to be caught. I'm gonna be. You're gonna call me Sir Smite if you get anywhere near. <laughs> your daughter's amazing. I mean, God, he is Aussie. That that I'm pretty like 99% certain sure that's an Aussie accent, which. Love that, but oh my god! Trace to meet you. Trace to meet you. I think it went well. I mean, they match, honestly, but um, I'm just. Uh, uh, elf? When? Where? How? Why? <laughs> All the kids are doing it. seen him in a while is he missing Rayla because he's having his birthday but there's but Rayla's not there why aren't you celebrating I swear to God if Rayla appears like because she's a moon shadow elf if she's like invisible but then like appears behind him or something like that or climbs over the railing or something or whatever and does something really cute or sweet or romantic I'm gonna squee because of Rayla to me? What happened with Rayla? This will always just be the anniversary. I swear to God, if I said that you two broke up and it was a joke and this actually happens. Of the day she left. Okay, so you didn't break up. She left. That's not a breakup, right? She just left. She went AWOL. She, she disappeared to go off on some spiritual journey, right? I don't even know if she's alive. Why did she leave? What? She loves you too. Okay, good. Not a breakup. It's just she's AFK. 
or AFC, away from Catalus. <laughs> or away from Callum. There you go. That's how you end this episode, right? But. <laughs> Yo. Oh, look at Janai and Amaya. That was a cute proposal, by the way. Oh my god, not the cool anime protagonist, like, freaking pushing at the glasses with the, like, reflection or. Yeah, freaking Ter Terrace is good. Is he gonna become, like, one of my favorites? No. Favorite elves, other than Rayla. Okay, wait, I need to see. Do they put the same voice actor? Ezra and Sasha. Yeah, it's still Sasha, so, hmm. No, nope. new new portrait with Ezra and Calum. I think Ezra even poses like Harrow did. The Baker's uh, uh, pin. Is that, there's a feather. Is that Fifi's feather? Is the letter from Rayla? Is that how Rayla told him that she was leaving was through a letter? So I wonder, it's got it, because if he's crying like that, it's gotta be, because I don't think it's the letter that Harold left, because we already know we read that a while back. So I don't think he would cry again. So it's gotta be a letter from Rayla that she sent him saying she was leaving. And I'm guessing she did that because she could not say it to him face to face because it would just hurt too much. Oh, and there's a, and they are Sunfire Elves, so they're not Earth Elves. So the Earth Elves definitely look like Earth Elves. That's why I was like, I'm like, these look like Sunfire Elves, but at the same time don't. Maybe they're just a different variety. But, um, yeah, okay, so Earth Earth Blood Elves definitely have the look of an Earth, what I would picture one to have, which is like, they're, an they're not antlers, their horns look like wood, um, and they have green hair, so. <laughs> That's new, Madison Wells, I don't remember seeing that before. All right, um, okay, uh, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. <laughs> All right, well, hello. okay, what a, what a first episode, well, I mean, not a ton happened in this episode, but it was a good, like, start off to the season, um, like, what the season is probably going to be focused on, which is going to be, obviously, Claudia and Viren going to find Erevos, um, is Erevos' prison. Um, probably, well, we're, they're gonna need that caterpillar to hatch, so I'm curious what that's gonna turn into. Like, obviously it's gonna be, like, a butterfly, because I'm pretty sure the, it was, I mean, it's a caterpillar, so that's a butterfly. Um, curious what that's gonna look like. Plus, the fact, uh, like, I don't know, the, f how much magic it, it, it stored, and, like, how big it grew. I feel like it's more, got a bigger part to play than just leading them to Eros' prison. Um... Then you have the mystery of what happened with Rayla. Why did she leave and stuff? You have, uh, well, Janai and um, Maya, I mean, that's not a mystery. That's just, they, they, you know, they're now engaged. Um, yeah, the, I would say the running theme for this season would definitely is going to be the Viren and Claudia and Erebos. And then it's going to, I mean, the title for the season is the mystery of Erebos. So obviously Erebos is probably going to be the main thing. But then on the side, what happened to Rayla? Why did she leave? What did she leave for? And then you also have how how, how the heck did Cla like when did Claudia and uh, Terry meet? And how like what did where how did that blossom? Like how did she not kill him off the bat? You know, what'd be funny is if she went to go kill Terry, and then like and then like fell for him kind of thing. That'd be funny. Um, but I really wanted to know about the story behind that, or behind their relationship. <laughs> But um, overall, yeah, like I said, great uh, episode to start the season off with. Um, uh, plot was great. Characters were great. Really do like, I mean, Terry is a new character. Uh, I think, yeah, Terry's the only new character. Um, really like him so far. Uh, everyone else is their usual selves, which is great. Um, animation was great. Uh, music, uh, I especially like the music. The music that stood out to me the most is the one that uh, played... Uh, during the Sunfire Elves dance and stuff. Kind of made, gave me Avatar Last Airbender vibes with some of the music. Though I do, I was I was almost, it sounded close enough to the Avatar music that I honestly was expecting kind of like a drummer, like a dunk a dunk, dunk Like, I don't know, like the, like, I, I think it's drums that they use in some of the music for Avatar. Like, what are the tracks from there? Um, but yeah, anyway, those are my thoughts. I hope you enjoy this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, afternight, and keep it bright. 
See ya.